Hi, Ali. Welcome to GE Transportation's main engine plant. This is where we build the Tier 4 locomotive engine. That is awesome. It is. What is a Tier 4? So the Tier 4 is our newest, cleanest, and most fuel-efficient diesel engine we've ever made, and it's going to save our customers millions. Ooh. So do you want to go see how we make one? Yes. This is the start of the engine assembly process. Wow. And so the first step that happens is we put it in our big washer. Any dirt can cause it to fail. It's kind of like a car wash, <laughs> dishwasher combination. So once it's spick and span, what happens to it? It is ready for assembly. We go see that now. All right. One of the most important components in the engine, the crankshaft. What does a crankshaft do in general terms? So the primary function of the crankshaft is to take the power from the pistons and then power and drive the alternator. And then the alternator generates electricity that powers the rest of the locomotive. Wow. But we should go really look at a fully assembled engine and see all the sensors and the technology. It'll be really cool. This is exciting. This is our latest and greatest 4,500 horsepower tier four engine. Whoa. So what makes this engine super special? You've got over 30 really cool sensors that monitor the overall health of the engine. What are these sensors detecting exactly? This is the oil pressure sensor. Wow. And it is detecting the pressure of the oil in the engine during operation. And guess what? You're going to actually get to install this. Really? Yes. I do the honors? Correct. So we'll just screw it in till it's tight. That's All right. good. All right. The second sensor is the manifold air temperature sensor. This sensor goes right here in this hole. OK, just, just pop gonna, it in. And then you're going to take this connector. OK. All right. Got it. That's it. I now the engine is ready to go into the test cell where all these sensors will send us live data and tell us what the engine is doing. Okay, that's awesome. I want ready? to see it work. Yeah. Right, I can't believe it. I just finished an engine. So now that you saw the uh -huh. tier four engine, yeah. you're actually going to get to start the engine yes, all year long. Is yes. that what this huge button is? Actually, it's this one. So go ahead and hit start. Really? And that's going to start this engine? So can we see the sensors that I put on? So they're and working? They're all working exactly as we need them to. And all the numbers are right where they need to be. Who is monitoring all this data? GE Transportation uh, Global Performance and Optimization Center gets all this sensor data fed directly live from the locomotive. So let's get you on the road so you can go to GPOC in here. Hey! Hi! I'm Allie. I'm Dave Gibson. Well, I hope you like locomotives. Oh, are you kidding? I've been like, I've been training for this. Oh, trains, I get it. You get it? Come on, I'll show you some <laughs> locomotives. Welcome to the Erie Global Performance Optimization Center. Wow. This is where we monitor 17,000 locomotives 53 customers in 23 different countries. We're processing about 2 million messages a day, and we manage cases where we can actually send a recommendation directly to our customers to fix a locomotive either on the road or in the shop. So walk me through how digitization has changed the locomotive industry. Well, previously, we would wait for a locomotive to fail, probably block traffic, hold up cars, whatever, and then you'd send out a crew and you'd start troubleshooting and try to figure out what's wrong with it. It'd be completely manual. But today, we can already tell them what the problem is before it fails, in really? some cases. So this is kind of like looking into a crystal ball a <laughs> of bit, locomotives. A little bit, yes. So can we like be nosy and look at some of these locomotives' medical problems? Sure. Let's take a look at one. And as you can see, they have health scores, and many, many of them are green. Yeah. We like to see green, but when we don't, such as this 5239, it actually has some problems. So it's heading in, and it has three RXs on it. And you can determine from this far away what this engine needs. Exactly. It'll take a three-day fix and make it a three-hour fix. Wow.
Allie, I can't let you leave until you see a tier four locomotive. Oh my word. Oh man, I've always wanted to drive one of these things. Well, come on. Are you serious? I'm serious. What? I cannot believe I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm in throttle is at notch one. Yep. So you ready? Sure, sure I'm ready. ready. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going. Yeah. We're going. Here we go. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can I do the horn? Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing ever in the world. 